So here's a video I've been putting off for over a year now, almost close to a year and a half. These cards. I got them at the 2013 Jacksonville Steam Engine Festival. I got them at the flea market for about $15. And I got seven of these cards. These are early 1960s circuit modules. They're really interesting. And I was hoping to do a video of them a few months after I got them because I figured I'd probably find some information about them and I'd talk about them. But unfortunately, I really haven't found hardly any information at all. Only a couple small things that just... Like just labels of companies that I've kind of found that kind of do exist. I've heard references of them, but even the companies that are referenced on these I don't know. So this is a mystery object, but I've decided it's about time for me to go ahead and finally make a video about these. All of these boards are very old. Definitely very old. They have can type transistors, old, I believe they're mica capacitors, and old resistors. It just emanates old, especially the traces on the board. They aren't really covered in any covering, and the board itself isn't dyed, so it's clear. It doesn't have any masking or whatever it's called. It does have a few markings on it, like the board itself has like C on there. It's just stenciled throughout the board in red. But the other ones have like M, and I think the other ones have K and P and stuff, so that might just be the tougher board, or I don't know. Now this stamp right here says EPEC or EPEC. EPEC is a company that was, I believe, one of the first companies to ever make circuit boards, and I think they were founded in like 1952. So this is no younger than 19. Uh, this is no older than 1952, but I would have already guessed that. I'm guessing like 1963 or something for this board. But at least that is kind of useful. It's not really useful though. But from that we can actually gather a very important piece of information. This. It's a circuit board. Who would have ever thought that? It's so interesting piece of information. Without that, I would have never known. It's a very colorful board, that's for sure. Very colorful components. Now, as for these transistors, they are can type transistors, and let's find one, one of the windows that's not very scratched. It's a 2N1304. Now these ones are 2N1305s. On these boards, you have 2N1305, 2N1304s, 04s, and then 05s. So it's just rows of each one alternating because I believe that's just, I believe the only difference between the two is that the base and emitter, or one of the wires is just flipped so they can be just on a mirrored, mirrored like circuit. I don't know. I've been trying to figure out this circuit and it just, it's fucking with my mind. And the last piece of information I found was on this connector. It is, I'll flip it over and post processing. HH Buggy 4528. I believe that is the company that made it, or at least made this edge connector. Now, I did look up HH Buggy, and I couldn't really find hardly any information on it, but I did find that in like the 1970s or something, they bought up some buildings at an, air sh at an airport, and I found, I think, another one, another couple places where there were a couple like radar components and stuff that were made by the HH Buggy company. So, this very well could be from a piece of radar equipment who knows so anyway what I did was I took a picture of, of the board like this which is pretty lucky because all the components are quite big you can see all the resistors and the capacitors and the transistors on here you can pretty cl clearly see how they're all lined up and I took the picture and I put it into MS paint and just drew lines on all the traces and it helped me out a little bit it helped me realize that all the lines up here are all kind of going to they're individual little places and they're easy to figure out and you can see that where they're going and these other connectors are all connected up. But then I noticed that all the resistors in these capacitors are really annoying because it's almost like they're all connected to the same pin, but yet they come out different pins. It's just, uh, here's the picture and if you guys can make any sense of it, well, let me know because any time they add capacitors into a circuit, I, ne I can never really wrap my head around having the capacitor hold electricity and also have the capacitor act as a resistor because these capacitors, these mica capacitors or whatever, or mica, they act as a 9K resistor, but, but also they hold, I think, 
or, or they have one picofarad of, of capacitance. It's like, well, if it's a resistor, how can it have capacitance also? Because it'd it'd, it'd basically short itself out. I don't know. Maybe it's just these are old and my testing equipment doesn't test them too well anymore. But oh well. Oh, by the way, another interesting thing are these plastic caps on the Texas Instruments transistors. Really weird. I guess it's to make it more durable. But it's probably made for the military, so that's to be expected. These edge connectors are quite strong, too. It'd be really nice if I knew what these plugged into. Because it's kind of hard to tell what these do without knowing what they plug into. Unfortunately, one bad thing about, about these boards is, like, this is the best looking one because... It looks like a little child got a hold of these. I hope there's a little child, otherwise it was a very stupid adult. You can see stuff has been ripped off. There are holes drilled into the board. So maybe someone used it as like a prop or something like that. Or tried to, looks like they tried to bolt stuff to it. It's all kind of bashed up, it looks like they hit it with a hammer. A lot of scratches on it. And this is, this is a nicer one. This one's kind of the same story. A lot of holes right there, that's weird. More hit marks. It's been melted there and some of the traces were pulled up. Looks like these capacitors were pulled out. Is this the same one? TI6? Yeah, so this is the same board as the other one, just in horrible shape. Some kid pulled a bunch of stuff off of it. Looks like a board I got whenever I was like four or five. I still have a couple boards floating around that I probably killed when I was a little kid. Because, well, whenever you're a little kid, you just, you don't really know much. Oh, well. Now, this board's interesting. This is a TFF2. It obviously has stuff ripped off of it. Looks like someone had a big soldering iron, and they f melted the plastic casing around the transistors whenever they're trying to get these resistors out. They didn't obviously have either a good soldering iron or they didn't know how to get stuff out because a lot of these, they still have the connectors in there. They look like they just popped off the components and broke them. Here's one with some interesting black components on them. Now that's pretty interesting. The glass, little plastic on the outside. And all of these boards pretty much have the same Texas Instruments 2 in 1304 or the 2 in 1305. It's really the only two transistors they have on these. This one's a TM4, by the way. This one's a TF2 also. Kind of in worse condition. Don't know if there's any big capacitors on there or not, but probably not. It's seen better days too. Here's an, an interesting one also. Looks like this one had some fuses on it. It's a TI6. But wasn't there already a TI6? Yeah, there's already a TI6s over here. Okay, so there's a TI6. There's a TI6. It's odd. Don't look very similar. Actually, they look quite different. Although, there are very similar characteristics between the two. Some of the traces are the same on these, so... Well, oh, never mind. Well, some of the traces are the same on all of these. Looks like the, the traces down the middle are just the same. They just kept them the same. Probably all the transistor positions are the same on these. But this, one's, but this one is different. Looks like a weird capacitor thing there. There are no markings on this capacitor thing. That I can determine. These are pretty well scuffed up beyond recognition. RCA, I think. This is RCA, I don't know. But this is interesting. 
This is the only other one. I think that says IMR. I don't know what that symbol means. I could not find anything about it on the internet. But it looks like an I with a circle in the middle with IMR. Maybe this light lowercase LMR. Don't know. So in the end, I really have no better guess of what these are than like I had when I, the first three minutes of seeing them. Because when I first saw them, I was like, ah, these are either from an old 1960s computer or they're from an old piece of radar equipment. And so it looks like, I don't know, most likely some piece of radar equipment. Judging by how the circuits are lined up, it wasn't done for digital circuits, so it's analog. But these could be something like either counting or they could be like it would feed a signal in and as a signal was higher and higher or like as a voltage was higher and higher more of these would trip so it would give different effects for a higher for a higher sound or something I don't know just such it's just so weird because all of these things are pretty much all connected together which is just kind of blows my mind uh, it, it, it confuses me of how they would work because it's like they have both of these transistors hooked up exactly the same and all the the like three pins coming in that come through these transistors or that comes through these capacitors and resistors if, 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 once again if they are capacitors but they do have some capacitance and I've and I've only ever seen them as capacitors but then we have these ones and usually these ones are somehow like linked up to them so all of them are kind of linked up just with resistors. Uh, it's weird. I don't know. It's a weird circuit. These are all really weird, though. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!